remember. All I'm offering is the truth. Warren in North Carolina there. Hello? Hey, Hello? Alan? Yes. Hey, um, I've been a big fan of yours for a while, and um, for about maybe about a year and a half, maybe two years now, and I sent you an email, actually, and I don't know if I'm trying to come down too hard, but I've come across information. Um, who is Glenn Keeley? Glenn Keeley? Glenn Keeley's a Canadian. Uh, well, yeah, because it seems like you got a lot of your work from Glenn Keeley. You think I've got a lot I'm of my work I'm starting to question you now with your own life. Is, is this what you phoned in for, was it? Well, yeah, because this is stuff that I really, I mean, that I feel like I, mean, I really want to know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to come down on you. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. Well, I, I spoke to Glenn a few too. years back in the 90s. Uh, I met him once in the, in the 90s, one day. And I, uh, I haven't talked to him since. Can I pull something off here? Um, is it and that's familiar it. here? I'm yeah. pull this up on, on, on my internet right now. Hold on just a second. Mm hmm. The North has spoken to Glenn for, for years. Back with more after this break. Manly Palmer Hall, one of my uh, very good friends, said in one of his lectures, Manly Palmer Hall, one of my uh, very good friends. Although Jordan Maxwell exposes a lot of truth with respect to apparent political corruption, this is a requirement for the esoteric disciple. He must gain your trust. That is why he appears to be anti-New World Order. However, he is doing the very thing that the New World Order wants him to do externalize the mysteries, externalize the hierarchy, and induct people into the theosophical ideas. If you don't believe he is connected with theosophy, listen to this. Thank you. Yeah. Gentlemen, have you ever heard or read uh, Mrs. Blavatsky? She's... Uh, uh, Alina Petrovna Blavatsky? Right. Yes. Right. Yes, I have all of her works. You have? Yes. Well, that's why... Uh, yes. I think her, her, her best work was Isis Unveiled, Part 2, which is uh, Theology. Right. Science. And uh, that was an exceptional uh, work. I think that Helena Petrovna Blavatsky, the Russian mystic, was a very wise and perceptive lady. No, it's Jesus is meant to do it. Muhammad Allah, what are you talking about? Well, that's all that humanist stuff. Man being his own god. Oh, satanic evil. So we already know that, you know, that's not a common held theory. But wait a minute. What then is the motive that makes people refute that statement? Before we get into what they're into, you're a Christian. You're, why would you feel motivated to not accept that man is his own savior? I'm very interested in that. I'm very interested in as to why you, not the cult, not the clan, not your guru, why you would, you know, have a problem with that. What, what's in your psychology that has made you in the 20 years of your life or the 25 years of life or the 40 years of your life not have enough brain cells to realize, my God, that's, that's the bottom line. Because in my opinion, if you don't accept that, you are an unsane person. You're not insane, you're unsane. You're toxic and you, you, you know you need to be quarantined or something. And you, you, you know you need to be quarantined or something. I would love someone to stand up and say, God doesn't live outside of you. God is you. You are all connected to the creative source of this universe. And nothing can stop that flow except your denial that you are God. That you are all made in the image of the infinite creator and what that means is you are all infinite creators. Blavatsky, one of the greatest uh, scholars the world has ever known, 
writes in this way, she says the appellation Satan in Hebrew belongs by right to the first and cruelest adversary of all other gods, Jehovah, not in the serpent which spoke only words of sympathy and wisdom. Now, even if we accept any variation of Lucifer symbolism, in this quote, it's clear that Sarin agrees with Blavatsky, the greatest scholar the world has ever known, that what we call God should be called Satan, and the serpent is actually our good friend. In this case, he wants us to think that the serpent represents the Lemarians, not women. Lemarians, by the way, is a word that entered into our lexicon through Helena Blavatsky. I would also offer a definition of Luciferianism which is, Luciferianism can be understood best as a belief system that venerates the essential characteristics that are affixed to Lucifer. Uh, that I don't know anything about, but uh, I can certainly tell you that those quotes that have been taken from the book of Magic and Theory and Practice have been totally misinterpreted. This is a case in point I was just talking to you about, Doug, is that people take one little line from Magic and Theory and Practice about the child sacrifices and so on, without, without even printing the whole passage. People need to go to that area of the book. In fact, they need to go to the book and read it about the incredible, beautiful, the spirituality of that man and of that book have yet to be brought up. The incredible, beautiful, the spirituality of that man and of that book have yet to be brought up. Even if you took this out of context, though, I mean, just logically speaking, you're, you're apologizing for something that is uh, uh, very clearly a, a huge part of this New World Order agenda. I mean, people have spent a lot of time implicating Aleister Crowley as a major player in this New World Order game. And here is uh, this guy uh, defending the hell out of this game. Son of God. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, you see, the thing is that uh, see, it's, quite, it's quite funny, really. You know, 2,000 years ago, had a guy called Jesus sat here and said these same things, you would still be laughing. It's really, really funny that we've not really moved on that much. No? There is no, he called it schegge impazzita, so a rebel of the system within the sieve in the Vatican. Right. It doesn't exist such a thing. Forget it. But you're a rebel. No, no, I'm out. I'm not in. But you were a rebel at, at I, you were inside during wait a some second. point when but you were says, I went to the office in Rome where he was accredited and where I saw that he was a legitimate source. And this tendency to blindly hold on to a belief system, sheltering it from new, possibly transforming information, is nothing less than a form of intellectual materialism. Intellectual materialism. The phrase intellectual materialism is a theosophic phrase first invented and used by Blavatsky and her theosophists, namely in Lucifer magazine. Hollywood is owned by the Arabs uh, and the Israelis for some reason, uh, but the actual financing, I've looked into it, is, is mainly Saudi and Jordanian and, and, and uh, the folks from Dubai and Qatar and a few other places, and then British, of course. And uh, what was left was defense industries and stock markets. And I knew the Arabs owned the majority of some stock markets, but I was reading the Financial Times of London and learned that the majority of world stock markets are now owned by the Arabs. <laughs> I mean, so the point is, they just own everything. I mean, they control the whole deal. Now it's defense stocks, though. 